You've probably heard that vitamin D is great for strong bones and teeth. But did you know it also plays a big role in your gut health? FIU researchers discovered this link during their Metabone trial, where they studied how a dietary fiber supplement affects bone mass in children and teens. Dr. Jacqueline Hernandez is one of the research leads. We recruited 213 children and teens from South Florida, mostly Hispanic and some non-Hispanic black. Before giving them the supplement, we checked their vitamin D levels. 68% had suboptimal levels. In sunny South Florida, that was a surprise. Vitamin D mostly comes from sunlight hitting your skin. Some foods contain it, but sunlight is the main source for most people in the U.S. For kids going through puberty, not getting enough vitamin D can lead to real health issues. Vitamin D helps regulate calcium levels in the body, which is essential not just for bones, but also for your nervous system. It also plays a role in things like blood sugar control, blood pressure, muscle repair, and nutrient absorption, among many other functions. In your gut, vitamin D strengthens the intestinal barrier, helping it act like a brick wall that blocks harmful substances while absorbing nutrients. When vitamin D is too low, those bricks, which are intestinal cells held together by proteins called tight junctions, can weaken. That can lead to a leaky gut and trigger inflammation. This breakdown has been linked to serious conditions such as liver disease, type 1 diabetes, obesity, and even colon cancer. We found that participants with suboptimal vitamin D levels had a higher risk of damaging their intestinal barrier. This suggests that even in healthy children and teens, suboptimal vitamin D levels might compromise the gut and could set the stage for chronic diseases early in life. So how can you get enough vitamin D? Some foods naturally have it, like fatty fish, egg yolks, and mushrooms. You'll also find it in fortified milk, cereals, plant-based milks, and some orange juices. Supplements can help too. But remember, most of our vitamin D still comes from the sun. The amount you make from sunlight depends on your skin tone. People with more melanin, and therefore darker skin, need more sun to make the same amount of vitamin D as those with lighter skin. Because too much UV exposure can lead to skin cancer, the Institute of Medicine recommends meeting your vitamin D needs through food. For most children and adults, 600 international units a day is enough, though some may need up to 4,000. A healthy, balanced diet can usually get you there. Researchers are still learning just how far vitamin D's effects go. But for those starting out in life, getting enough is essential.